I'm using the Expression Builder to build an expression for this unbound text box that I've added to my report. In Design View, I'll double-click the text box to open the property sheet. Now I'm ready to open the Expression Builder. I click the Control Source Property box, and then click the Build button. I'll make the Expression Builder a little bigger so I can see what's going on. The Expression Builder provides a large text box into which I can type my expression, but it also provides tools that help me enter the different parts of my expression. For example, I can add operators just by clicking operator buttons. And I can add identifiers, functions, and other expression elements by selecting them from the element lists. Today I want to calculate the number of months each item has been in stock. I've already reviewed the help topic for the date diff function, and I've decided that it's the function I want to use on my report. To find that function, I double-click Functions. Date diff is a built-in function, meaning it's provided by Access rather than by a specific database. So I'll click Built-in Functions. I know it's a date time function, so I click Date time. This narrows down the list of choices in the right-hand list, so now I can see the date diff function. I select date diff, and the expression builder displays the syntax in the lower left corner of the dialog box. I click paste to add the function to the expression box. Notice that each argument is enclosed in double angle brackets. These brackets indicate that I need to replace each item with a valid argument. Or if the argument is optional, I can just delete the placeholder. If I add another function after date diff, the Expression Builder adds the expression placeholder, EXPR, to indicate that an operator or an additional expression is required in order to make this expression work correctly. I don't want to add any other functions right now, so I'll click Undo. From reading the help file, I know what values are valid for the interval argument. I want to calculate the number of months between two dates, so I click the interval placeholder, and then I type M. I enclose it in double quotes because the function specifies that this must be a string value. Now I click the date one placeholder. For this argument, I want to use a date field that is already on my purchase order details report. So I click purchase order details. In the second list, I click field list. And then I click the field that I want in the third list, date received. I click paste to replace the date one placeholder with the field name. Now I want to replace the date2 placeholder with another built-in function called date, which returns today's date. I could go back and find the function in the built-in functions list, but it's a simple function with no arguments, so I'll just type it in. I know that the last two arguments of the date diff function are optional, so I'm just going to delete all the commas and placeholders that follow the date2 argument, making sure not to delete the closing parenthesis for the date diff function. Everything's the way I want it, so I click OK to paste the expression into the control source property. And then I press Enter to enter the expression. If there's a problem with the syntax, Access displays a message and does not accept the expression. Now I'll switch to Report View and see how it looks. The Expression Builder helped ensure that I entered the expression correctly, and now my report is ready.